learn to crochet with Potter and Blue. So today's tutorial is for this wall hanging, crochet wall hanging. How cool is that? I am so totally in love with this thing. It is made from four different colours of um, Debbie Bliss Roma, um, but any chunky yarn will do. Super chunky yarn is what you need. Um, the kind of yarn that you need a 10 millimetre hook for. So grab some of that. Um, I'm going to show you the stitch pattern and tell you how I put it together and I hope you enjoy this tutorial as much as I do. So this is my tutorial for the crocheted wall hanging. Um, it is awesome. I have to tell you I am using Debbie Bliss Roma. I'm at a really funny angle. So you'll have to excuse me if my hands look like they're in a if they look if they look like they're coming in sort of from an odd place. Um because that's because they are, because I have got my um I've got my camera on um a footstool <laughs> so it's up high enough so you can see what I'm doing because this is quite a chunky project. I thought that um if I did it at my normal I normally have a particular kind of setup that I like um, and it's really easy for me to get my hands around the tripod but you wouldn't really be able to see anything that I was doing so today I'm doing it at this angle so bear with me right so you've got yourself a 10 millimeter hook and some nice super chunky yarn like Debbie Bliss Roma or anything that um, suits you and what you're going to need to do the um, wall hanging that I made for Betsy has got three pattern repeats and each pattern repeat is 12 stitches so if you want to make one exactly the same as the one that I made for Betsy you need to do three lots of 12 I'm for the purpose of this video only going to do 24 stitches um, because I think it would just make it easier otherwise I'll be here all day So 24 stitches, so I'm going to do two pattern repeats. So do however many you want, multiples of 12, and then you need to add two. Okay. Now what we're going to do is a double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So not this one, but this one. So double crochet, second chain from the hook, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, skip three, one, two, three, and a double crochet in the next. Okay, so far, You've just got a loop. Now you need to chain 11. Helps me. Um, and this is my favourite bit about this pattern and I've never done this before and I really like the effect. What we're now going to do is a treble in the 8th chain from the hook. So we're actually going to work into this 11 chain that we've just done. And we're going to work into the 8th chain from the hook and we're going to do a treble. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this one here and we're going to work one treble. Look something like that and then we're going to work another treble in the next chain Oops. another treble in the next and a treble in the oh, is that a knot? Oh, do you know what when you pay that amount of money for yarn you really do not expect to have a knot in it. That is so crap. Let me start again, okay? Right, I've done it again. That really cheeses me off, you know. 
and then we do a treble in the last one. So you've got four trebles and they've been worked along here. That's such a good idea, isn't it? Okay, so then we skip the net. We're going back onto the foundation chain again and we're skipping three and then we're doing a double crochet to the next one. So you've got something that looks a bit like a willy sticking up from your work. <laughs> awesome! Um, yeah, that really cheeses me off. When you, when you buy expensive yarn, I think it's disgusting that they have knots in it. Um, you know, I know that they're doing it because they've obviously got halfway through um, winding a ball um, and, and then they, you know, add another bit of yarn in to make up a full ball. But I just don't think that's acceptable. If you're going to do that, then you should charge less for your wool because I've just had to start all over again and that piece of wool is now wasted because I don't want to have a knot in the middle of my work. Anyway, enough ranting. We're chaining five again. When we're skipping three again, one, two, three, and we're doing another double crochet in there. Okay, chain five again. Skip another three. Double crochet in the next. And then we're going to do 11 chain again. One, two, three, four. Eleven. Okay, and then a treble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In the eighth, chain from your hook. A treble in the ninth. And the tenth. Okay, so we've got two willies sticking up out of our work, and then we miss, we go back to the foundation chain and miss three. One, two, three, and we go in with a double crochet into the next one. Chain five. One, two, three. Four, five, skip three, one, two, three, and a double crochet into the last. Okay, you should have something that looks like that. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? So now with the same colour, we're chaining three. And chaining three more and we're going to slip stitch into the third chain one two three we're slip stitching into that third chain and pulling it through to create a pico so it creates a little pico bump like that okay and then chain two and turn your work so you've got like a pico sitting there turn your work and do a double crochet into this first chain five loop okay double crochet into that chain two and then we're going to start working in this chain seven loop up here and we're going to do three trebles One, two, three. 
three, three trebles, and a chain three picot. Okay, and you're going to do that. Whoops, three times. So another three trebles. Two, three, and a three chain pico. One, two, three, and pico. Pico is such a cute word, isn't it? <laughs> One, whoop, one, two, three. This is all happening in that seven that seven chain space. One, two, three, and a pico. One, two, three, and pico. And three more trebles. Oops. Okay, so you have something that looks like that, which is really cute, isn't it? And then we chain two, and we do a double crochet in the next chain five loop, which is here. Double crochet, chain three, pico that chain three. Chain two and a double crochet in the next chain five loop. Okay, so you've just added a pico to here. Okay, and then we chain two and we do the same thing over again with the um, chain seven loop. Three trebles. One, two, three, chain three, pico. Sounds like I live in the Bronx, doesn't it? <laughs> One, two, three trebles, three chain, pico. I really don't live in the Bronx. I do live in a really sleepy place, but you wouldn't believe it from all the noise. One, two, three, and one, two, and another Pico, and then three more. Rebels. Okay. Let me do a chain two and a double crochet in that chain five loop. And because I'm at the end, chain two, and then do a pico, one, two, three, and then a double crochet in that last double crochet. So, your work should now look like that. Ah. It's so awesome, this pattern, isn't it? Okay, so we're carrying on. And we're chaining six for this row. One, two, three, four, five, 
six. On camera, please, Anna. And then we're going to turn our work. And we're going to skip these two spaces and we're going to go straight into the picots up here. Okay, so we're not going to work in here, we're going to go straight into the picots and we're going to do a double crochet into the picot. Okay, which is a bit tricky. Double crochet and then chain five. Okay, and you just got to sort of wiggle it in to the picot wherever you can. Sometimes it works out really well for me and then other times it's, see that time hasn't worked out so well because I've only got one loop. You must always try to have two loops otherwise you'll end up with, um, it will pull and it won't look very nice. So, chain five. double crochet in that. So you're doing double crochets in all of those picots. Okay, so you should have something that looks like that. Okay, chain two. And then what we're going to do is in this middle picot here, we're going to work a double treble recording. So yeah, we're doing a double treble into this middle pico because we need the height that this lovely big stitch gives us. And I'll show you what I mean. So it brings it up to sort of in line with these picots here. Okay, chain two. And then we're going back into these picots on the next pattern repeat. I'm going to do oh, double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and a oh, come on, double crochet. Crochet. Oops, in that last picot, she says she can't get it through. Oops. Okay, so I've done that one as well. two and then a double treble in the last uh, chuk -chuk -chuk -chuk, double treble in the last pico which is here on the end is your first row. Looks like um, a nippleless bra. <laughs> I seem to see rude things in everything so I, I think that's obviously just my ridiculous my ridiculous mind of a child so I do apologize if uh, if you don't see a uh, nippleless bra there but um, if you do, then yeah, you're on the same wavelength as me. So now I'm using this beautiful teal colour. And we're going to just do exactly the same thing, okay? So we turn our work, 
because we're going to join over here in the top of that last double treble and we join in a new colour in slipping it in chaining one and working a double crochet into that stitch as well so it's all into that stitch there we're going to skip this space chain five and work a double crochet into this chain five loop okay chaining 11 Okay, and then we're doing a treble, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, in the eighth, a treble in the ninth, treble in the tenth, and a treble in the eleventh. Oops. I'm just going to run through this row with you because it's slightly different to the beginning row that we do on a foundation chain. So you, again you've got your little sticky outy bit. So then we do a double crochet into this chain 5 loop. Yeah. Chain 5. And we do our double crochet into this middle double treble on this row. Chain five. Double crochet in there. Next chain five loop, sorry, not in there. <laughs> chain 11 again. Treble in the ninth, treble in the tenth, and treble in the eleventh. Okay, and then a double crochet in the next chain five loop, chain two. And then we do a double crochet in to the fourth chain of this big turning chain here. So one, two, three, four. And we do a double crochet into there. Okay. And then we do, we start our pattern all over again. And that's it. You just keep repeating the pattern. I will write it out because um, obviously some of the bits might be a little bit hard to follow. Also, if you've got, it is actually the stitch pattern, it's actually stitch pattern number 308 in um, Linda Schapper's Book of Stitch um, Patterns. So obviously if you have that book then you can follow it from there or um, you can buy that book and follow it from there. But I will write it out for you. Um, you can literally make this as long or as short as you like. You can just keep adding rows. Um, and all I do is, I, as, as you saw Betsy's, it, it had four different patterns. And then, no, four different colours. <laughs> Talking nonsense. And then I turn it upside down and I joined. I got a stick and I just joined it to the stick. I just tied it in three places to a stick and just hung it. And that is all you need to do. 
so I hope that was useful I hope you enjoyed this video um, and yeah I look forward to seeing you in the next one bye